The Saturday vibes are super wonderful on this beautiful sunny day. How you doing, digital family? We are back once again to talk about another episode of Atlanta season three. This one is episode six called White Fashion. <laughs> The writers of Atlanta have given us another interesting episode, and we're going to dive into all the different messages they're trying to convey with this particular one. Before we do all of that, make sure you subscribe, like, and share so that the community can grow and we can expand our conversations around movies, music, life, and anything else. Okay, let's get into it. We catch up with the crew and they're in London. Now, let's keep in mind, and we've talked about this before, the point of this show is to display the various ways that people of color are treated in society. The microaggressions, the cultural appropriation, and of course, the inevitable public apology in the aftermath. This scenario has Paperboy caught in the middle of a global fashion design faux pas by a huge brand where they put out a jersey that had Central Park 5 on the back of it. For more context, you can see the movie When They See Us on Netflix. Great movie. The designer was inspired by New York City's Central Park, and it was the fifth year anniversary of the collection. Makes sense, right? Gotcha. However, <laughs> Obviously, the designer and the company did not have enough people of color on their teams to notice this highly insensitive design, and they ended up having to recall the clothes and make a public apology. Well, the company took a page out of the How to Apologize to Black People playbook and enlisted some social justice advocates to come help them make the proper contrition and show the community that, you know, the show that the community supports this initiative. Well, they enlisted Paperboy. <laughs> along with some other seasoned social justice experts to speak at a press conference and also come up with some ways in which the company could contribute to the various causes to send a clear message about their support around diversity and inclusion. Now, in this episode, we also learned that even though Paperboy has grown a lot over the years, he still struggles with seeing the bigger game and how it's played. If you ever wondered, what happens behind the scenes of these social justice meetings, you will get that thirst quench from beginning to end with this episode. It exposes the true horse and pony show that is social activism in this day and time. The deals that are made behind the scenes that benefit the social justice activists more than the community they're looking to shine light upon. It's truly the business of social justice and it's a hustle in itself. We also get a chance to hang with Darius, Earn and Vanessa for this ride. Darius is once again witnessing indifference and blatant appropriation in real time, but we do learn a lot more about him in this episode, at least a little bit more than we may have learned before, about kind of where he's from and the fact that he does miss his country. You can really feel the disconnect when he's speaking with Mimi, and I do hope that they get deeper into his background as the series goes forward, because it was great to learn a little bit more about Darius. He's a vibe. I know we're all waiting also to see, you know, what's going to happen with Vanessa. And we finally got a chance to kind of be graced with her beautiful presence. She came in and we saw her and Ern meet up in the most random way, which was great, but that's not the highlight. The highlight is the moment when Ern claims Van publicly as his fiance. You know, when Vanessa's being called to the carpet for allegedly stealing something from the store, I know it's a shock that she stole something. It's not like she hasn't stole something since Champagne Poppy back in the other season. Anyway, Ern's feelings for Van were on full display in this episode, and Van looked totally surprised. I was as well. But it does seem as though absence does make the heart grow fonder. I'm here for all of the Earn and Vanessa energy because I do feel as though that they should build and, and, and try to create a great future together because of their daughter, or at least give it a try. But I'm cautiously optimistic about it, though. They both seem to be a bit unsettled, especially Vanessa. She's kind of all over the place right now. And I'm not sure that Earn is quite ready to commit but we're seeing some signs of life, and I think that's encouraging for Team Ern and Vanessa right now. That's just where I'm at. I'm here for it. But the writers are definitely keeping us laughing while continuing to bring attention and nuance to real life events that have taken place. Thus far, if the whole if this happened and this would probably be the reaction approach has really been spot on for this particular show this season. And I can't wait to see where it all kind of goes. What's your thoughts, you know, in terms of Vanessa and Earn? Do you think they have a shot? How are you liking this season overall? Put your thoughts in the comments. Let's talk about it a little bit more. See you next week. Take care.